Character's worst matchups. Game of Watch, kind of a nightmare scenario for him. You've got a projectile reflector, also absorber in the bucket. Yeah. Combo the hell out of him off your throws, off your nares. Any stray hit could lead into a ton of damage. But you know what, Rob, of course, he's got a ton of tools, right? As long as you're able to find your win conditions, those down throws, those up tilt setups, and maybe some gyro traps, and Game of Watch is light as hell too, so he's going to die really early. That's fair, but I, I just feel like as far as like the matchup goes, Meister's going to be so supremely comfortable in this matchup. Like you just think of like some of the great routes Meister's gone against. You think about Big Boss. Big Boss, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Leo's got that little Rob too. Even that that Rob is something else. You know, not, nothing negative. Just they don't play like every other it, Rob. It's a know? weird one, but it's it a is a weird. One. One. It is a weird one, but it's still Rob. It's still effective for sure, but. You know what? That right there is probably just a testament to just how well she's doing right now. Ooh. Gets the first stock off, carrying nothing from Meister's experience in this matchup. She said, you know what? I'm coming to town, and I'm taking you down. First stock dispensed up. Really nice play so far. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. And a bad matchup that Meister is so well versed in, even to just send that message like, yo, I'm capable of outplaying you stock yeah. to stock. Like, you got to at least watch out for me. you got to treat me with respect. No, no picking random. <laughs> yeah, no picking random. <laughs> Could be, uh, someone want to talk about opening the floodgates, bro. One Nair from Game & Watch can do just that. Always the case, dude. And he, uh, old Reliable right there. The up B out of danger. So many predicaments that get out of jail free card. Nice. Okay. Up throw could lead into a little bit of damage. Just one fair and the frame trap oh. afterward. Nice. This is really close. 4% apart. It is. I, I love to see that. Again, early matches, man. This is why we watch pools. This is why we enjoy them. You never know what you're going to see. Meister almost getting his DI crossed up right there by the up air. Could have been a really early fatality, but here we're seeing him with stage control. Let's see what he can do. Wow, the mix up, the multi hit on shield, and it's going to be that rotor arm <laughs> taking him out. You can never sleep. Rob, so tricky, so creative. Really just making some clutch plays. You know, this lead right now, it, you know, again, not the biggest, man, but a lead is a lead. You really want to take advantage of this. Oh, I love the back hit of the neutral air right there. Of course, that is where the move starts. Yeah. So it takes a while to get all the way around, right? But it's kind of surprisingly fast when you hit with that startup hitbox. Oh, wow, missing the up B. Meister potentially in a little bit of trouble. And low key, if I'm playing Rob, I might even be down to fill the bucket so he can't absorb yeah, the laser anymore. 100%, 100% on that. But in a last stock situation like this, it might not be worth it because if it was full, that could have been a death combo. Meister still in danger. I mean, this is anyone's game. See, though, Meister has started to reassert himself, but, you know, again, not able to do it without being challenged every step of the way. I mean, like, this literally is anybody's game. Right. We are a good kill setup from either character away from going to game two. So far, it's been Balte taking the, first, the stock first every time. Oh, play it with oh, fire, and I'm not talking about the burners right there. Yeah. Damn. It, I think she missed her fastball. That would have been game. Oh, and this oh, might still be game two. Be game. It is. Wow, Bolte gets the first one over Meister. She came to play, and Meister's like, oh, oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, was not, I was not expecting this. Hey, man, we were talking about that uh, game one being a little shot of espresso to some of these top players. Get them in the zone, right, just in the mood to play the way that they have to play against, you know, their top eight matches. Yes. Right, Meister? I don't know if he was bringing the fire. It didn't look like he was holding back by any means, but you know he's got a key into the, the stuff that really makes him one of the greatest players of this game in order to make it out of pools on winner's side. The level of play in this game is crazy. And, that, and you know, it's even more of a threat because <laughs> it's only best of three. Right. It's only best of three. Right. Your, your margin for error is very limited in these situations, guys. Walt say though, definitely putting on a hell of a performance in that first game. Yeah, like, we wow. were talking about that that mindset of playing against a top eight opponent. Well, in top eight, you have the luxury of the best of five, right? You can exactly. drop two games yeah. and then decide to wake up. Here, Meister, if he goes out on this small battlefield match, it is over for his winner's bracket run. You can even be a little flexible, too, with, like, bringing out, like, another character just kind of test the waters. Here in best of three, no. Right. You do not have, you're not afforded that same uh, comfort level. So Meister's really just going to have to bring his A game he wants to rally right now, doing a hell of a job already. This first 30 seconds, just dominating. See if that trend can continue. And I cannot remember the last time Balte was able to touch the ground. She is really just hovering, not by choice, but by Meister's authority. 
Finally able to break that up a little bit. 113, though, on yeah. the way. Yo, Game of Watch just straight up one of the best advantage states in the game, and you're seeing it come out from Meister. Nobody plays it quite like him. All right, oh. playing around, trying to get in there. 140, it's a very hefty lead. I like that. Held the charge and is rewarded. Balte picking a panic option. She is not going to live to regret it. Yeah, I feel like that interaction just signals like, yo, he's in her head right now. It's not uh, gonna be a cakewalk like not that game one was, but if you want to actually peel this setback, you yeah. got to make a huge comeback in the process. I just want to know, like, if, if Balze pulls this off and she gets this victory, I want to know what the, the PG stats upset factor on this one's going to be. Right. Got to be double digits, right? Like, it's so early in the bracket, it's crazy to think about. I uh, see Balze wearing a, an esports jersey, though. Maybe a high level player in her region. Yeah, very true, very true. All talented players out here, we get introduced to. Just based off that first game, we know she's one of them, but Meister, the response right now, almost urgent in the way he's approached this, just so aggressive, convincing, and dominant in game number two. And this is kind of like the Meister we were kind of expecting in game number one. We'll say right. forcing it out of him, and this really could be leading to an epic game three, which I imagine is where we're headed right now. I feel like the mood of this game two has shifted from urgent to comfortable on Meister's side, right? Yeah. Like, stock one, he was like, okay, I'm doing whatever it takes to take the first stock, build a big lead, and then once he did that, he's just like, oh, cool. Now I'm by them. Is that going to be a three stock? It is. Wow. Okay, what a response from Meister. You wouldn't even know that first game took place the way he played that one. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. That charge crazy. was godlike. Like, I'm just calling you out right now. I know where you're going. I got you scouted out. Yeah. It didn't matter what side of the stage you're on. You're going right to the blast zone. Yeah, that one definitely doing some mental damage. And you can see, like, a critical hit like that really can just result in the three stock or, like, make the other player crack to the degree that it's not even going to be a threat anymore. However, yeah. again, I'm going to come back to what you said before, that short memory. you got to just let that go. Let it move go. Move into game three. Pretend you're just playing a best of one at this let point. Let it just slide down your back. Forget about it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It didn't happen. It's true. Uh, we'll see if Balte is able to do that, though. Obviously, an opportunity like this, right, a huge upset, a win on a top 10 player, that can kind of get to you in the background passively, right? And you got to just shut those voices down. Don't think about how hype all your friends are going to be for you when you win. Don't think about, you know, the, <laughs> the Twitter post you're going to make and how many likes it's going to get. No, I've, shut that all yeah, out. Exactly. Because as, as a competitor, like, it's, and, you know, that's perfectly said, Max. It's so easy to just kind of look ahead, like, what can come of this victory. Right. But you got to make it happen first. So your mind state has to stay. And, you know, that really can be the difference maker uh, in, in how a lot of sets are decided. Like, are you still engaged in the current game or are you looking too far ahead? Exactly. Or back on that three stock from game yeah, two, right? Got to live in the moment. Forget about everything else just for, like, three, four, five minutes. All right. Well, let's find out. Vault say has it in her. As we are headed to game number three, and Meister may be looking to kind of repeat that start to game number two, which gave him that three stock, but we shall see. Obviously unfolding on a uh, bigger stage here in Kalos. Yeah, I feel like it's a really good stage for Rob in general, but the corner platforms, Game & Watch in this matchup specifically, it's yeah. a nightmare to land. We're seeing Meister take full advantage of that. Wow, down tilt to grab, gonna get broken by the up B here. I told you, get out of jail free card all the time. For real. Like, trying to catch that landing. I like the mix. You know, the air dodge out of gyro charge. Probably not something Meister's ready to react to right yeah. off rip. Oh, man. And the back air. That move is such a thorn in the side of every character, but especially Rob, who's very tall and can just get clipped by that rising or falling. It doesn't matter. Ooh, okay. Meister looking pretty comfortable right now, making it so difficult for her to land. The options being cut off at every go. Your potential saving grace is this insane amount of rage you've got built up for yourself way past the point of hitting maximum. Oh, but you could die to anything. So, I don't know, down throw into something. Maybe just a raw up air near the top of the screen. Could be the difference maker here for Balte. Looking like she's not getting any opportunities to attack at all. The up B going to close it out at 200 plus. That was the struggle, right? It was just, you know, you're, you're landing, you're finding some openings, but you're getting taxed for just going for it, you know. And that percentage obviously adding up. You know, losing that stock at over 200% will do that to you, as you said, Max. So Meister, very, very comfortable, very much so in the driver's seat. And you're kind of wondering, like, man, what, you know, <laughs> you know, just the amount that he was forced to just kind of respond after that first game. 
He is doing just that. He is rising to the occasion. Game and Watch, one of those characters that's so hard to steal a lead back from. You do have to approach. You have to be the aggressor. And he's got some of the best out of shield game in Ultimate. Wow. Down smash again, catching that roll out of the corner. Looking like Baltai's got a couple tells. And Meister is picking those apart. That's the mark of a top player. Don't have, it, don't have any tells or openings against somebody who can mash with the best of them. I'll tell you that one right now. That's, that's the Game and Watch. <laughs> that's, I'm keeping it real, Max. That's the Game and Watch best. And Meister does it better than anybody with this character. And you see him being rewarded right now. Three to one stock lead. Looking like that first game, a very distant memory for Meister. Yeah, Balte, you know, you could get one over on him, but doing it twice, that's a little tough. There we go. Down throw, up air. Not the correct DI for Meister, but I don't think it mattered. I'm pretty sure he was dead regardless. And there is like a very small chance of this comeback being possible, but just the way the Game of Watches toolkit is built, man, yeah. you cannot get in on this character that much. You cannot open him up that many times to actually pull this off. Oof. Yeah, Volte trying. You know, this has been the, the, the story of the entirety of the match. Land, land, land. And as you said, you pointed out at the very beginning, it could be a nightmare on those two side, side platforms right. to try and get past Game & Watch just patrolling. And you see it right there. Meister, great execution. And he's going to take that 2-1. Getting put in the corner by any character against any opponent on any stage, it's always bad. But on Kalos, you really feel the